I feel like it's in there. It's not in there. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, here we go. We mix what, sure. what do we call it? The mixer? The music mixer. That's right. It's the music mixer and it's it's loading. Yes, it is. But it's probably still recording us. So it's we okay. should be cute. Well, hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the music mixer. We've uh, just become live. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, live for everybody. Okay, here we go. We make sure. What, what do we call the mixer? Uh, the music mixer. That's I right. it. It's the music mixer. And it's, it's All right. And All right, now we're cute. We go over here. So. Good to see you all. Welcome to the Music Mixer. There's going to be a lot of fantastic music from around the globe this evening. Um, it's unfortunate the way that this has happened, but I'm so glad that it's bringing us all together um, in such a special way. Uh, tonight we have a lot of performers for you, and uh, we also have a community tip jar that everybody can uh you know feel free to put money into um and uh we're really glad to have everybody here um it's a beautiful thing and uh we look forward to seeing everybody play and uh so we're just going to go over to uh portugal here to start us off with Good friend Oliver. You can find him on naturalgroovecords.com or you can find him at sundaypirate.com or olivetreedance.org. Amazing musician, very fabulous. And um, without further ado, I give you. Or not. is for uh, a.m. so it's really late and my neighbors will complain if I make so much loud in my instrument so my apologies uh, for not using my old set of instruments but I will make a special set uh, for dedicated to Jason and Shannon uh, and all my friends that uh, will be playing in this special event in libraries events so um i wanna start with uh, the didgeridoo and um, i then go through my dj sets and i think my performance will take one hour and uh, hope you guys enjoy and uh, go in the travel with uh, this improvisation that I will do for you in the history do. So let's do it. Bless. So Do 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 do
Renato, man, we love you. There's a sound issue where we're hearing like every 10th sound, brother. I hate to cut you off during the show, but um, something has changed from our uh, original uh, testing to where um, you've stayed up till four in the morning. You've risked getting the police called by the neighbors to play us some tunes. And unfortunately, they're just not uh the uh volume is not there um, it, it, uh, is it uh, low or is uh, high i i'm not sure what the problem was but um you know we're we're just gonna have to have to do this again with you man and uh and bring you back you know to to do it again okay let's do it let's do it yeah it's, so it's uh, okay for me do you want to stop yeah, I, I appreciate it so much, everybody. You know, Renato from Portugal throwing it down. I wish you could have heard what he was doing here. Uh, yeah, incredible just... musician. Um, we love him to death. Again, he stayed up till four in the morning to make this happen. Um, okay, give it up for Renato. We will make this happen again soon. It's going to be fast. Um, okay. That is our boy. He throws it down. I'm sorry that we missed that. Um, and uh, but we tried. We gave it a shot to see if it would come through, if it would start playing strong for us. Maybe the YouTube streaming, it sounded perfectly. But uh, as we were listening here, it didn't seem like it did. Um, so we love you. And um, now we're going to talk to Ernie Fishbach. 
and he is a luthier of beautiful mandolins um and he studied with Ali Akbar Khan uh and and he's a direct descendant descendant of Turgan and uh the website for Ernie is elf e l f sound works dot net so feel free to look ernie up he's an amazing musician which we all love so much and without further ado i give you ernie fishbach thank you very much Thank you. 
Fishbach. Thank you, Ernie. Most amazing. Thank you, Ernie. Anything you want to Thank say you. to the people? Stay safe, and I hope everyone is happy inside, and, and uh, all those that are sick get better. All right. <laughs> I'm with that. Wow. Thank you so much, Ernie. So fabulous. So beautiful. The incredible Ernie Thank Fishbach. You. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We love that guy. He's so good. Ernie Fishbach. Ah, oh, one of the greats of the world. And I bring you another. Ernie Fishbach out in the middle of the forests. And we still get to see him. We just had Bernardo from Portugal all the way. And now we bring you somebody all the way from Afghanistan who's in the states now living it up algeria. and uh it's from or, algeria. sorry i apologize <laughs> algeria i get my a's and b's all up in my c's anyways <laughs> algeria big difference i apologize stab me when you see me in person i deserve it no um <laughs> uh so without further ado i give you the great omar incomparable omar you should unmute hi can you hear me welcome thank you so much so you can hear me yeah we can hear you okay good evening everybody azul for lowen so here for lowen azul for lowen good evening and i'm going to speak in two languages i'm going to speak in english and in berber so they could hear me back home in my native town. We're gonna to dedicate some music for here, for uh, the Bay Area, and some music for uh, my native town called Vegas. Vegas. So we're gonna sing some Berber music for you. <clears throat> and we're gonna start with a little uh, intro, musical intro, and then a prelude. And then a healing, a healing prayer in these days of coronavirus. I thought uh, we should uh, I'm gonna sing a little prayer for all of us to to heal for those who are sick and to prevent any disasters for those who be happy. <laughs> Thank you. 
عاودني جبدان How was the was the sound coming out? Sound was beautiful. Man. Beautiful. I would All say right. good. So we have some more if we if we still have some time. Yeah, feel free. All right. This is a song from my uh, native town. Uh, to remember a friend of mine who made this song in the 80s and who passed away. And it reminds us of the one the, the government is the virus. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. Uh, you are welcome, and I uh, want to say hello to all my colleagues, my musician friends. Hello, Ernie. I just heard you. Ernie, how are you, brother? I'm looking forward to all of you ahead of, and I'll be right here listening. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the beautiful wow. Berber music, amazing Algerian fabulousness. A voice that cuts straight to my heart. Cheers to Omar. Omar, that was fabulous. Um, wow, what a great lineup we have for you. It's amazing that we get to have all of our friends, friends of friends and musicians of friends. And Omar, thank you again, Ernie, Renato. It's, it's been so beautiful now. And um, next. If you feel like tipping your musicians, please send a donation to jasoncoolips at gmail.com via PayPal. Again, that's jasoncoolips, J-A-S-O-N-C-O-O-L-I-P-S at gmail.com. It looks like Jason Cool Lips. Um, and everybody is going to get a share of any tips that are collected tonight. Yes, all of our performers tonight will get a share of the uh, of the musicians, although Shauna has donated. Thank you very much. Back to the Musical Instrument Library because she's too <laughs> she's sweet. sweet. We'll see her later. Um, but uh, otherwise, all of the money goes directly to the musicians. Um, so uh, without further ado, I bring you the next band coming up it is the miller family bands we've known them for years they are so sweet they are so amazing and um let us bring them to you now Ooh. Ooh, so excited hey on one second we're trying to unmute you Maybe you have the mute control button. Have you muted yourselves? Did you mute yourself? <laughs> <laughs> because I do not have power over letting you talk. There yes. you are. All right. Yeah, right. Miller Family Band. All right. So we're the Miller Family Band, including all of our members today. And um, we're coming at you from Fort Bragg, California. We're going to sing you a couple of old timey tunes. Um, and this first one's got a little bit of advice for if you're like running low on supplies during these strange times. No toilet paper. <laughs> it's called Groundhog. <laughs> Here comes Grandma with a snicker and a grin. Here comes Grandma with a snicker and a grin. Grandma, Grammy all over her chin. Grandma. 
instrument library you can find the link as well i will hold up a card in just a moment to show you the link miller family band you're so good we love you love so, you. Much. so much you know, amazing we yeah i can't say i love you enough it would take up the rest of everybody's time I know, so <laughs> thank sure. you so much for playing with us thanks for having us yeah and nice shirt megan yeah, Megan, we see the shirt. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Yeah. In the Lark Camp shirts. I, def <laughs> I definitely recognize the Lark Camp shirts. If it is, come to Lark Camp. Yeah, come to Lark Camp. Come to Lark Camp. August. Definitely. Hopefully this shit will be over by then. Can they swear? I don't know. If I, I mean, swear. we're legal. Whatever. Okay. Um, hi, kids. Sorry about the swearing. Don't say that at home. So, uh, I got kissed. If you're wondering what this red is all over my face, a little bit of kissing. Oh, okay. There's kids here. Anyways, <laughs> next on the list for you, we have oh, the wonderful, special. very special friend of ours from Italy. Um, definitely, they've gone through some pretty big struggles right about now. Um, and they're doing like the rest of us, enjoying making the best of this new consciousness. Everybody's retired. Hey, welcome to retirement. Let's just <laughs> tell everybody we're not coming back to work. Um, anyways, um, the beautiful Yari, a great friend of ours, again, um, always welcome at my home, a sitar player. Uh, he studied in India for 15 years plus. Um, he performs all around the world, teaches online. We're going to put him up on our link on our website, uh, dedicated to all music, especially classical musical therapy. Um, we love musical healing. This is a very important thing in life. Uh, and Shannon, what else do you have to say about him? I just want to continue on because um, he, he chose his performance tonight. Um, for specific reason. The raga he's chosen is a late evening or night raga. And he's chosen it because these are crazy times and we need to unwind. Um, so he recommends that, um, that you lay back, find a comfortable position, maybe dim the lights a little bit. And when he starts playing, close your eyes and just let the music take you wherever it goes. Um, and without further ado, here's Yadi. Yes, we give you Yadi from Italy live. How amazing is that? We get to do things like that. Hi, Yari. Welcome. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. I'm really honored to be here. 
and um, I will present you Rag Darbari. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yes, Yari. Straight from Italy, everybody. Thank you so much. Thanks that a lot. was amazing. Thanks a lot, guys. Gorgeous, man. Anything you want to say to the people as well, man? Wow, what do I say? Just, you know, <laughs> yeah, to, what, what can I say? In this period, you know, everything that you say, maybe it's, it's nothing, you know, because it have no sense, you know, because everybody is, it's close at home and, you know, it's, it's really a, a very strong period. So I just, uh, I, I can say, try to, to be the best, you know, in, in the in futures, I, I, I hope that, you know, this uh, period will uh, open a new, a new um, period uh, of uh, peaceful, you know, peaceful, I mean, peaceful from the peoples, you know, because this uh, system is, uh, is start to destroy, you know, this, I mean, yeah, this consumer system, and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> also yeah, my English, yeah. it's not perfect, so. I love you, man. And, and yeah, I, I love you too. Exactly where you're coming from. And, and yes, may, may this coronavirus get better. May everybody who's sick get better. And may us be more enlightened and more able to share this love that we have right now together, uh, continuing forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. yeah. 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 Yari, if someone wants to study with you, where do they find you? Oh. Sorry, again? If somebody wants to learn from you, where do they find you? Uh, on Facebook, yes, on Facebook. Uh, you can find me, uh, yeah, on Facebook. Yeah. Yari Palmeri, yes, yes. Spell that one time for us. Yeah, uh, the spell is, is <laughs> J-A- R I P I no P A L M I R E Beautiful man, beautiful, wonderful. Thank you so much, Yari. And again, you can find him on our website. We'll put him up there so you can just link to the musical instrument library and and find us. Um, yes, yeah, boom. Thank, Thank you, Yuri. Thank you, too. Okay, hi, guys. That was Yuri from Italy. Beautiful, beautiful musician. Um, where's the up. thing we're holding up? We're gonna hold this ah, up. Ah, there we go. This is this is our PayPal. Feel free to support show. everybody on this show. Um, Yari's a wonderful friend. You know, again in Italy, dealing with things that we're all dealing with, uh, and uh, we love all of you so much. Again, these are all beautiful friends of mine that uh, I can't say enough about. Um, Yari, thank you again. And uh, lots of people, Omar, uh, many people are, have worked really hard to make this happen. Um, working with cell phones, working with anything. Uh, let's see, we can hold this up some more. I see, uh, I see something from Omar, I'm not sure. Let's see, it's, it's backwards, is it backwards really? <laughs> Because other people I've seen holding it, uh, theirs it is forwards. backwards. It looks forwards on ours. I don't know. Well, anyway. Jason Coolips at gmail.com, C O O L I P S, will support all of these musicians for you. Next, I give you an amazing baker, 
Um, I get some of the most beautiful foods from this person. We, we work together uh, at Lark Camp. Lark Camp is an amazing place uh, where you can find a few of these musicians. Let us bring you... Uh... Oh, sure. What do you have to say? You I was just going to say, are you guys ready, Shauna? They they All look right. they, they look, look happy. Ready. They Let's look happy. This is Shauna. Hello, hello. Feel free to say anything you would like about yourselves and welcome Shauna. We love you. Love you, Shauna. Uh, thank you. Love you too. I, I'm yeah, Shauna. And this is Mark, my my quarantine buddy. <laughs> yep, we're 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 together and we're gonna do uh, a couple of a couple of tunes. This one is um, it starts out, bring me some good red wine, which is always a good way to start. Is the sound coming through? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. which is one of my favorite songs. Uh, it's a Robert Graves poem, and it's called Alley Calls. And it's just one of these really lovely pieces. And here we go. Alley calls the birds in, calls them from the sky. from the stream 
First there came two goldfish, a minnow and a miller's thumb, then a school of little trout, then the twisting eels come. goodness <laughs> anything you'd like to say to anybody oh oh honey <laughs> 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 thank you all for staying home this is actually kind of hard and we're doing it we're together the entire world is working as one how about you Markalo? <laughs> he shakes his head <laughs> i'm staying home i'm keeping out of trouble i'm keeping others safe <laughs> Yay, and I'm making masks tomorrow because I can do that. Yay. Thank right. you guys. Thank Yay, you. thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Again, everybody, that was Shauna Celine. Amazing, beautiful performer. So wonderful. We love to have them. Um, next, we're going to have a short story for you. It can only be told on Thursdays. It's a very important story. And um, yeah, it 
it's a story that takes many forms and uh you know we'll just leave it at that and uh let these guys here the kevin hughes tell you exactly what this story is all about so without further ado i give you the one and only kevin hughes and you have to unmute yourself because uh clearly we can't do it can you hear me can you hear me can you hear me now can you hear me now okay you're once upon a time not a thousand miles from here lived a woodcutter and his young daughter. And they were people that did not have perhaps much money, but every day the woodcutter would go into the woods and he would cut and gather and shape a bundle of wood, which he would bring back home and then have some breakfast and then take it to town where he'd sell this. And this is how they provided themselves with their sustenance. Now one day the woodcutter's daughter said to her father, Papa, Papa, why can we not have more interesting things to eat and the father being a righteous man said very well my daughter tomorrow i will go out further into the woods i will get up earlier i will bring back a bigger bundle of wood and i will take it into town sooner and with that we will have a bit more denarii and then we will have more interesting things to eat so true to his word the next morning the woodcutter got up and off he went out of the woods and cut and shaped and gathered and hauled back to his home, a great bundle of wood. But when he got there, he found that the door to his house was locked. He was looking for breakfast, but oh no, he could not have it. He knocked upon the door and said, daughter, daughter, please let me in. I must have something to eat before I go into town for I have this heavy load to carry. But the daughter, having forgotten about the conversation of the night before, was still asleep in her bed. So the woodcutter lay down next to his pile of wood and thought maybe since he had gotten up so early, he might have a small meal. And he slept and he woke when the sun hit his face as the day was getting late. And he got up and he knocked upon the door again. He said, daughter, daughter, please let me in. I must have something before I go back out to gather more wood or go into town. But the daughter, having not noticed him outside the door, sleeping next to a pile of wood, had tidied the house and gone out for a little walk, locking the door behind him. Now the woodcutter was full of consternation. He thought, it is too late for me to go into the town. What I will do is I will go back out of the woods. I will gather a second bundle of wood, and then I will have two bundles to take into town tomorrow. And this he did. When he brought this other bundle of wood back to the house, he found yet again the door was locked. He knocked upon it. Daughter, daughter, please let me in. I must sleep well, for I have two bundles to take to town tomorrow. But his daughter somehow thought that perhaps he was already in town and decided to spend the night in town. And she had turned in for the night and locked the door behind her. Now the woodcutter was very troubled. He had worked all day. He had had nothing to eat. He was sitting out in the darkness. But still, there was something out of the darkness that was nice. It was a beautiful night. The stars were out. And as he sat there, he heard a voice crying in the night. And the voice said, leave your wood and follow me. If you need me and want food, you shall always have good things to eat. So the woodcutter followed into the night this voice until at last the voice was gone. And the night was still. and The stars were silent. And he realized he did not know where he was. He was lost. And he took a deep breath. And he realized the stillness of the night and the beauty of the stars. But he felt sad. He was frustrated. He thought perhaps he would cry, but he realized that would do him no good. So he decided what he would do is he would tell himself, as if in a tale, his own story of everything that had happened since his daughter first asked him for the of things to eat. And as he was reaching the end of the story, he heard a voice again, and the voice said, what are you doing? He said, I'm telling myself my own tale. The voice said, very well, let us hear it. So he recounted it to this voice. The voice said, very well, now stand up, 
close your eyes and mount, as it were, a step. He said, but there is no step. Moise said, never mind, close your eyes and do as you're told. So he closed his eyes and he's put his foot on, on the step. And there was a step there. He put his next foot there. And there was another step there. And soon he was climbing a set of stairs. And suddenly the stairs were moving. And the voice said, do not open your eyes until I tell you. And when the stairs stopped moving, the voice said, open your eyes. And he opened his eyes. And he was in a strange place with diffuse light and pebbles all over the ground. The voice said, fill your pockets and pouches with as many of these pebbles as you can. Then close your eyes and go back down the stairs. So the woodcutter did as he was told. We got down to the bottom of the stairs. It was in front of his own house. And the door was open and there was his daughter. And she was worried. And she was, Papa, where have you been? And he recounted this strange, confusing tale of what happened to him. And they shared the last food that they had in their house, which was a handful of rather large dates. And then he heard the voice again. And he said, although you do not know it, you have been saved by Mushkal Gusha. Mushkal Gusha is the remover of all difficulties. And you should tell his story on Thursday morning and commemorate. Well, they went to sleep, and the next morning they woke up, and the woodcutter went into town, and he took the two bundles to wood, and he immediately found someone that needed them, and they paid him a great price for them. And he went to the market and bought lamb and baba kanoosh and sabra mumu, wonderful delicacies for his daughter to eat. And they came home, and they had a feast, and they spoke of what had happened. And so it was. And as the days went on for the next week, Woodcutter found it easily to find big bundles of wood and take them to town and sell them for a good price. And the next Thursday passed, and as is often with the way of men, he forgot to tell the tale of Mushko Gusha. Now that night, his neighbors came knocking at the door. And he came and he said, what, what? He said, good neighbor, our fires have gone out. And we want some of this fire from these magical lamps to relight our fires. He did not know what they were talking about. He went back in and he looked on the shelf in the basket where he placed these stones. And they were glowing with a strange light. But it was a cold one. He could not kindle the fire. So he went to his neighbors and he said, I'm sorry, I have no fire for you. And he slammed the door in their face. And they went away muttering. But they leave no story behind. Now the next morning when the woodcutter woke up, he looked at these stones and they were they were gems of un parallel beauty and luminescence. And so he decided that what he would do is he would take them to towns nearby and sell them one at a time. And he did this until he had amassed a great fortune. And once he had this fortune, he thought, why should my daughter and I live in this little hut? Let us, let, let us go and build ourselves a grand palace. And it so happened that just across from the king's palace was an empty lot, which he was able to acquire. And soon he had workmen going out day and night, almost as though they were jinn, putting up this grand edifice, erecting an edifice. And the daughter of the king looked out from the balcony and saw this white, 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 white. What is this? Who would erect an edifice across from the palace of my father? So she sent her father's spies out to find out what was going on. They came back with a strange tale. Gems, daughter, going from town to town. It all seemed very bizarre. It did not please her. She thought, I will have this, this daughter of this woodcutter sent to me so that I can question or at least vent my angst upon her. And so she did. And yet, when the two the women met, they found that they had very much in common. They were both only children. They did not have any many friends. And soon they became fast friends. And they were playing in the pools and streams and parks that the king had made for his daughter's pleasure. Now, one day, they decided they would bathe in a pool. And the princess took a necklace off. And she hung it upon a tree limb above this pool. And when they were done, she forgot about it. But they returned to their various abodes. 
And the king came to his daughter and said, daughter, what happened to that necklace that I gave you? She thought for a while. But then she thought a little more and shot, no. That little girl took it from me. She told this to her father. He had the woodcutter arrested and thrown into the deepest, darkest dungeons of the kingdom. And the woodcutter's daughter was put into an orphanage, and everything they owned was confiscated under the crown. And it was dire times. Now, after some time, the woodcutter was taken out of the dungeon and put in a public square with a sign about his neck that said, this is what happens to those that steal from kings. Now, the sign was big. He could not even reach over the edges of it. He had to scratch his head or scratch his nose or pick at some bit of something in his teeth because someone had thrown a rotten melon in his face. He couldn't do it. And it was very annoying. And somehow he was able to survive. He was able to put little pieces of food on the board and tilt it into his mouth and sort of bite at them and keep himself fed because people grew used to him and give him something to eat. And he was there for quite a while and it felt much as though he was confined. And I'm sure we can all relate to that. But then one day, he heard some people coming to the bazaar. And they said, oh, it is Thursday. It's like, Thursday. This is the night of Mushko Gusha. I have not told this tale in so long time. And just at that moment, the thought entered his mind. A generous man walked by and threw him a small coin. He caught it in his palm and he said, good sir, this coin means nothing to me. It is useless as I sit here, chained to this post. But if you would be so kind as to take the bazaar and buy some dates, we can share them. And perhaps it will benefit us. So the generous man went and bought dates and brought them back. And they sat upon the table. The woodcutter told them the tale of Mushko Gusha. The generous man looked at him and he said, I think you must be mad. And he wandered off. And he was a person with many difficulties, but he found when he got home, many of those difficulties had gone away. And that caused him to think quite a lot about Mushko Gusha. But he leaves our story. The very next morning, the king's daughter went down to that selfsame pool where she had lost the necklace. And she was about to dive in. And lo, there she saw at the bottom of the pool her necklace gleaming. And at that moment, she had to sneeze. And it was just an allergy. It wasn't something else. And she looked up. And there was her necklace <laughs> hanging in a tree. The reflection in the pool had just been a, a simile of reality. And she grabbed the necklace and she took it home as fast as her little feet would carry her, running almost like Lisa Simpson. And she said, Papa, Papa, Papa. It's what I always think of. Papa. She did not steal the necklace. It was on this tree this whole time. And her father said, Very well, we must set things to right. And so the woodcutter's daughter was released from the orphanage. The woodcutter was restored to his lands and his good and his money, and they all lived happily ever after. Now this is the tale of Mushil Gucha. And this tale is always told. And as long as this tale is told, people who are in need will always find their way. And sometimes the tale is not the same. And sometimes the details are different, the people are different, the scene is different, but as long as people are telling this tale with this in mind, those who need help will be helped. So on Thursday night, tell the tale of Mushko Gusha, or give a gift to someone who will help the needy in the name of Mushko Gusha. Will you tell the tale of Mushko Gusha? Because we are going to do it next week. Yes! yes, we will tell so the tale good. of the Mushko Gusha. Hit on. Yes, nice job. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You I, honor me by asking me to tell this tale, and we are honored by hearing the tale through this evening. I give you, Kevin.
Have a huge. Hughes. Amazing for so many reasons. Our friend has just told you a tale that goes back thousands of years. And this tale will continue, as he said. For those who want little but need much. Seems like most of us in these times. And if you're feeling generous. Please tip your musicians. We will make sure all this money goes directly to them. It's jasoncoolips at gmail.com. And in case you're seeing it mirrored. In case everything's coming out backwards like this virus has put everything, there it is there. Nope, that's the other one. That's not the tip. Well, anyways, (laughs) next up we have a wonderful musician um i can't say enough about him he has a patreon if you want to learn from him yes his name is faisal and we dancers all love dancing for him because he's just the sweetest most talented most generous of heart drummer yes drummer singer many a different things musician, human being let us give you Faisal Zidane. 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 There we are. Faisal, let me unmute you real quick. Bam, there you are. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you just wonderful. Awesome, because I now I'm using a mic. Remember in the morning I was just using the tele- computer. So how are you guys oh, doing? Yeah. You can hear okay. you. We love the fancy changes. <laughs> <laughs> Am I ready to go? You're ready to go, buddy. Okay. I just want to say thank you to both of you for doing this. This means a lot. And thank you guys for whoever performed already. You so so beautiful. I hope I can present something can be uh, nice <laughs> as that. I'm gonna. I have two songs. Uh, one of them from the uh, the classical genre, from the Moshahat. It's from Syria, and the other one is from Egypt. The second one is a lighter heart uh, song, but the first one is a classic. Okay. So here we go. Can you still hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you perfectly, my cool. friend. All right. Okay, here we go. Ijma'u, ijma'u bil-qurb Ah, bil-qurb shamli Ijma'u, ijma'u bil-qurb Ah, bil-qurb shamli واسمحوا لي بالتلاقي يا ليل 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 يا ليل بالتلاق آه يا للي واصلوا واصلوا بالود آه بالود حبلي واصلوا واصلوا بالود اه بالود حبلي فنوامر المذاق يا ليل 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 يا ليل المذاق اه يا للي نال نال أهل العشق العشق قابل يا ليل نال نال أهل العشق العشق قابل يا ليل في الهوى ما لا يطاق يا ليل 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 يا ليل لا يطاق آه يا للي من رأى من رأى في الناس آه في الناس مثلي من رأى من رأى في الناس آه في الناس مثلي من تباريح الفراق يا ليل 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 يا ليل الفراق آه يا للي 
Okay, and the second uh, song from uh, from Egypt, uh, it's for, for, for the uh, flower seller, the girl who fl sells flowers, and uh, it's a cutie song, kind of. Okay. Ya wardi ala fulli wa yasmin Allah alik ya tamrihinna يا ورد على فل وياسمين الله عليك يا تمرحن قرب لنا تعندنا قرب لنا تعندنا خد ورد يا بي خد فل يا هانم يلي عوج لي طربوشك فوق الجبن على سنج عشرة ما تحط لك حبة ياسمين في عروة الجاكيت نظرة يلي عوج لي طربوشك فوق الجبن على سنج عشرة ما تحط لك حبة ياسمين في عروة الجاكيت نظرة قرب لنا تعندنا قرب لنا تعندنا خد ورد يا بي خد فل يا هانم وحيات ابوك لم تكسفني خد لك عدن ما انا اسمي نرجس والله ان ما كنت تنفعني لا زعق واقول راجل مفلس وحيات ابوك لن تكسفني خد لك عدن ما انا اسمي نرجس والله ان ما كنت تنفعني لا زعق واقول راجل مفلس قرب لنا تعندنا قرب لنا تعندنا خد ورد يا بي خد فل يا هانم يا ورد على فل وياسمي الله عليك يا تمر حنا يا ورد على فل وياسمي الله عليك يا تمر حنا قرب لنا تعندنا قرب لنا تعندنا خد ورد يا بي خد فل يا هانم So awesome thank you Yeah Faisal Yes amazing Yep Beautiful 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 music anything anybody you want to speak to wonderful person that you are Oh, thank you. I just want to say hi to my son, Safi. His picture is behind me. <laughs> I talked Safi! to him. Earlier. He was waiting for me to uh, to sing, but he had to go to sleep, I think. Oh. And uh, I just want to wish everybody a good time and to be safe. And uh, let's keep love, friendship, respect, and understanding uh, as our idols in this time. You'll see those yeah. four things. I learned from them so much. And love you guys. Love the music. And keep up for everybody. You know, we're playing not to really to make a living out of it. We're playing at, to, at this time to, to prove the power of music and art and dance and theater and everything that it has to help us through this dark time. You know, and I believe in it so much. Yes. 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 We believe 100% in the same thing. That's why we bring you the music. Thank you so much. Uh, we can't say enough, Faisal. You, you are incredible, incredible. Uh, and so that is the great Faisal. Faisal! <clears throat> We're going to be on it. I know, but so we gotta, we gotta introduce that was first. the wonderful Faisal Zidane. Uh, F A I S A L Z E D A on. I'm sure you can. <laughs> yes, sorry. D A N. Um, you can find him all over. Uh, amazing musician. If you want to take lessons from him, he teaches on Patreon. And through there, you can message him directly. Correct. And next. Next, we have the beautiful Brianna DeMara. Brianna. She teaches online. Uh, she has a beautiful album out that I cannot stop listening to. I have it on repeat in my car. 
Um, you can find info about that and uh, get in touch with her either on her Facebook page for Brianna DeMara or www.briannamusic.com. Also, she's got a photography project that she's really excited about. Most of us don't know, or well, at least I didn't until I got this message from her, but she's also a professional photographer. Um, and I checked out some of her work when I got this message and she's phenomenal. But she's working on a project. Ready. She's working Sorry, on a project right now um, called Portraits on the Porch, um, which is a project that's taking place during the shelter in place situation we're having. So without further ado, the lovely Brianna. The lovely Brianna and Kevin, we love you too. Coming up next. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's so good to be here. Thank you, Jason and Shannon, for organizing this. Um, so this is my lovely accompanist, Calliope, <laughs> aka Faisela, since, you know, <laughs> she's the next best thing to Faisal. Um, so I was just uh, wanted to introduce my songs really quick. Um, I feel like this situation that we're in is uh, kind of asking us to, um, you know, really appreciate and cherish and connect to the things that comfort us and that we love. And it's also requiring us to um, try different things and different perspectives and explore different territories. So I'm going to play a song, an older song that I wrote a couple years ago that's on my album. And uh, that's my, my comfort. And then um, a new song that I just wrote last week, tonight. So here we go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
called Home, and uh, that is on uh, the album called Haven, which is available on my website. All right, so this next one doesn't have a name yet, but maybe you guys could help me name it. It's just kind of a rock out tune, and Calliope likes it because it reminds her of camp. So let's try it. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Anything you'd like to say to anybody? Do you want to say anything to anybody? Um, we miss you all. Yeah. And we hope we get to play music with you again soon. We miss you. Stay safe. Stay yeah, healthy. Stay, safe stay inside, healthy. please. Just yep. keep washing your hands. Keep staying the fuck home. <laughs> Playing music from your houses. Gotcha. Love you. Wow, we love you. Love you. All right, thank you so much to Brianna and Calliope. Amazing performance. We 
so far have had the most beautiful show for everybody who's in the same situation. Nobody, you know, let again, everybody feel better, get better, let the situation change for the better. Uh, that's, that's what we are hoping for the most. Um, again, that was Brianna and Calliope. Hooray! Yay! Next up, we have the Brunos. Only this, this group usually has... Only more close. <laughs> lots and lots of members that play all together through Dickens Fair, um, Lark Camps, you name it. These guys are all over the place with over 13 musicians usually half the time. Oh, a lot more than um, that. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> This, but, but tonight we bring to you Bruno Abridged. Bruno Abridged. Have you unmuted us? Oh. Yes. You are, you are unmuted, unmuted as of now, oh, as well spotlighted. So oh, oh, you oh, have yeah? the floor, my the friend. All right, this first tour is from uh, some friends of ours from Belgium called Naragonia. It's called Hello More. Hello More. Thank you. 
Fantastic. Do you want to watch? Do we have time for one more? One more? Why not? It's you all, beautiful people. <laughs>
you very much. Hey! hey! Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. All right, we're such suck ups. <laughs> and we have no idea what we're doing either. We're trying to, you know, figure out this whole thing with you guys. Uh, we're messing up uh, constantly. We're trying to be as beautiful and as polite as possible and make all of this beautiful for everybody. <laughs> we're just loud, annoying people. <laughs> we do it to each other. Hey, that's why we get along, right? We can all be loud and annoying and still play some beautiful things together. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We that was you. fantastic. You guys Again, are amazing. Calvary and Kevin, two beautiful, inspiring musicians that play all over different parts of California, oh, wow. the world, you yeah. name it. They have been there. And, uh, you know, what can we say other than amazing performers? We're all dealing with this COVID-19 thing together. We all are not prepared to be the most beautiful, perfect sound studio from the home. Um, but hey, we're having fun. We're loving each other. We're playing music. We're having a live show with all of our friends i mean we can't ask for more right I that's mean, right totally. so you know um we're gonna continue on with uh a couple of more people we have left we have one of the most amazing power couples coming right up we got dan cantrell and liz the strong Boom. um elizabeth strong is a total badass thanks She's, for coming guys yeah thank you for coming she's one of my foundational dance teachers um if you are interested in dancing and need to get moving in these times where we find ourselves sitting all the time um she is teaching online and you can find information about that on her website which is strongdancer.com um and her husband dan um is an amazing world-renowned musician um who information about him and how to book him for stuff like this that's higher quality um, can be found at bellowhead.com b-e-l-l-o-w-h-e-a-d.com um, also assuming that all of this craziness blows over by winter time you should look, <laughs> you should look for a great workshop they teach together um, about musicality and dancing with live music and all this wonderful stuff. Fantastic and I'm so workshop. gonna be there. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm gonna be there. Okay, let's um let's go to them because it's time. We shall go to them. Sorry, it's been so long. You know, people are having so much Yay! fun. And people don't know what to do. Hi guys. How are Hi. you? Hi. <laughs> Got the candles lit in the fireplace. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Oh, and we, we have to thank my we have to thank my parents for the cool masks. My mom and dad are on on in this group. I now. think they're still here. Yeah, they're so cool. They're so cool. Now we're gonna, we're gonna be out in, in public and style. Uh. <laughs> they just arrived today, and we're very excited. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do. I'm going to do two pieces, and Liz is going to dance on the first one. This is a piece called Waxing Cinematic. Beautiful. Thank you.
was so uh, beautiful you guys thank you uh I, sh should i do one more or should i let uh for the in the, the interest of time uh liz is saying we should pass it on yorgos uh oh no well, we have one more performer and um you know uh if you feel inspired again i am really bad at telling a musician not to play music I'll do a quick one. Is right. the sound okay? The sound is wonderful. And the dancing oh. was incredible. We could not ask for more. Thank you. You, you have given us so much on this evening. Oh, we love you. <laughs> okay, well, I'll play a quick version of this song, Slinker. <laughs> Thank you. 
my gosh. Yay. Thanks. Guys. Wonderful, wonderful. So good. Be amazing. Thank you guys. Elizabeth, Dan Kentrell, I give you to the world. Here you are. Yay. Uh, Anything you would like to say to anybody? Oh, just thanks. Thanks to everyone for being here. It's really amazing to see all of y'all playing Hi, and sharing and and oh yeah it, yeah if anyone I mean you know is are my parents the only there there are other people on here besides but just my us and my parents right? Oh yeah, they're all on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I would are, there so. are there invisible uh, <laughs> members on this on this group? <laughs> Yeah, well, we have some members from around the world, so I would hope we still have some uh, Algeria, yeah. some Italy, yeah. some Portugal. Oh, yeah, uh, who good. knows? Yeah. We're broadcasting live on YouTube, so who knows? Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. So you never know who's people. tuning in there, right? Exactly. Well, well, thanks again. Guys. And, and, uh, love you guys. Love you guys. Love you too. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, I could do this one. <laughs> you know what? That's the that's the like um, opposite. That must be some know. Illuminati the thing. The rock that we okay, know so about. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would like to tip your musicians? Our virtual tip jar is at PayPal. Jason Coolips at gmail .com. All proceeds go to the musicians. And again, this is why I cannot cut musicians off because you would have never heard anything as amazing and beautiful as what you just heard from Dan Cantrell. Thank you so much for joining us. That was just fabulous. That made me feel so good inside. Just like all of the other musicians, I can't thank you enough for spending your time being here, playing music. We have one musician left. And there's, they're really special. They're really special, amazing friends of ours. We met in Greece. They still live in Greece. You know, this is the Grecian, yeah. you the know. The thing that's really special about them is we ran, we, we met them really randomly. Um, it was only because we were traveling with our friend Philip who went wandering around and found them that we actually met these people. And I've been raving about them ever since we got back from our trip in 2018. And I finally, <laughs> finally get to introduce them to my home <laughs> community. And that makes that makes this just extra special. So thank you, Yorgos and Etheria. I'm going to unmute you in, as soon as I find you. And Where thank you? you, everybody else, for doing all of your amazingness. We can't, really, we can't yeah. thank you enough. This has made our evening so special and so bright with everything going on your music, your love, your life, the fact that I thought the internet was separating us and yet it's bringing us together in a whole new way. For Thank sure. you so much, yes. everybody for participating. And without further without ado. Without further ado, our final performer for the evening. Can you hear us? Yes, there you they are. are. Oh, hi, Jason. <laughs> thank you, too. Thank you, guys. <laughs> we are in Santorini. Tranquilo. Oh, yes. And uh, we have some friends with us. Hey! Uh, they are all musicians. That's and uh, we are going to play a couple of songs, Greek songs, traditional. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you so you. much. We love you guys. <laughs> Woo! We give the floor to you.
Typical song since 1930. Another song. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Have yeah. time for one more. Yeah. Sure, one more. Show oh. us your faces. You're so hidden in the shadows. We love to see your beautiful face. <laughs> shadows, yeah. <laughs> one more. Very famous. Beautiful. We love famous tunes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. Now thank tell you. me if I'm wrong. Is that not the Miserlu? Miserlu, yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, I I wish uh, you everybody the best in your life. Here in Santorini, um, it's a difficult period now. The tourists are not going to come, maybe. But it's okay. We will have all the islands for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> but we will not have money. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Money is not everything. Now we have a, a field outside the hotel, and we plant our vegetables. And uh, this is our weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, oh, brother, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Solidarity to everybody in this world. Uh, all the depressed the people. Solidarity to them. Uh, we don't like the powerful guys. We are always with the poor and the <laughs> everybody has problems. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm with you guys. Yeah. I, I, I give it up Thank you so much for joining us all the way from Santorini, waking up at like four in the morning to come be with us. I mean, we can't <laughs> thank you enough. <laughs> this is incredible. Uh, do you have time? Maybe we can play one more. Why not? You're, you are our last band. Feel free to finish us off with one more beautiful tune.
Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. So beautiful. Thank you, yeah. guys. Thank you so much. I hope uh, we meet sometime again. Yes, that is a definite. Yeah. We will. We will come to visit you or vice versa. We will see each other again for yes. sure. Yeah, that's fantastic. You know. <laughs> We can't wait for this time. Yeah, I mean, it and uh, <clears throat> thank you, guys. Come closer. Thank you all about Just so we all can see you. All your company. Come it closer. Very nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Closer. We want to see your beautiful face, Ephiria. Closer, closer to the computer. Let it light up your beautiful face. Maybe, maybe, maybe you would like one more. <laughs> hey, like I said before, I'm not one to tell a musician to stop. You know, we have a bunch of people <laughs> Sitting, watching, uh, nice. the show, you know, if you guys want to play some more, just write us a text message. You know, I mean, I'm not uh, gonna stop anybody from playing music. Yeah, if, we, if you have uh, free time, yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay. we're, we're all in this together, man. We have nothing but time. Yeah, yeah. 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 What, what did you say, Jason? I, I say we all are dealing with this big problem together, we have nothing but time. <laughs> It, it would be nice uh, sometime if we could play all together. Oh, yes, we must find an app with no uh, yeah. internet lag. Yeah, that would be nice, very fun. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> yeah. So here you are, friends. Another song, okay. Santorini, one, all the way on, you one, know, halfway across. One, one more, one more song, and uh, after that, we have to to go all together to the field outside. We prepare the field, and uh, we start early in the morning, <laughs> working hard for the field, for our food, because food is not for uh, producing in the supermarket. Uh, we product food uh, in the field. <laughs> this, this message we want to give. Mm. We want to give everybody this message. And this is the solution nowadays. The solution is uh, small communities product their food, their energy. That's uh, the real green solution. And then the green solution they give us. <laughs> the real green, green, solution, uh, green solution is uh, uh, small communities, uh, self-protected, uh, self-produce uh, their own vegetables. That's the, the best, the best we can do. Yeah. <laughs>
you guys thank you thank you so much oh, really? oh. oh my gosh what can oh. we say about so that nice. other than we love you guys if only we could hug even if we were there we couldn't hug but big hug <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. um <laughs> yeah yeah thank you guys thank uh, you for all this uh Thank you for the situation. situation. <laughs> yes, you're very welcome. Thank you for joining us and getting up early and sharing your music. Yes, thank you, everybody. Renato, Ernie, Omar, the Miller Band, Yari, Shauna, Kevin, Kevin. for telling the Bush Everybody Bush was Bush Everybody was perfect. perfect. Thank you. Thank you, thank you all of you. And Yurigos and. Uh, uh, Solidarity. Yes. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. So amazing. Yeah. Peace. Peace. Peace all the world. So hard. So hard. Anybody you want to say hello to? Hello. Ah, everybody. Ah, yes. I, I send my love and my kisses to Filippo. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I will pass them on. Filippo. Filippo, yes. <laughs> and thanks all the musicians. Yes, thank you to all. And the of course to you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to you. From Greece, Santorini, wonderful people. I can't say enough about them. Anybody else, write in our little text box if you feel like you have one song left in you. Um, go ahead and just go like this. Yeah, yeah. Just, just we can give us you. a wave. You know, there's only of you left. But um, we loved everything you've done. You all have been so beautiful. We can't thank you enough for everything. I mean, just wow. That's, that's all I have to say is just wow. And, you know, uh, musicians, I know everybody's working hard uh, to keep things afloat. And um, it seems as though you will be getting a little something. We have looked uh, at this spot and some people have recognized it and continued to spread their generosity on this beautiful Thursday, just a little bit further, extending to you beautiful musicians. So please do enjoy all of the beautiful things that can come from donating to this website for all of these musicians that you may have just seen or may have just missed, which you can watch again. Give it up for the internet for always to this like nothing else.
Thank you, Internet, for making that boring conversation bright and crazy. There we go. Thank you, Internet, for being so beautiful to us all. <laughs> at least it happened at the end and not at the beginning, which is what we were worried about. We expected it at the beginning, but of course. <laughs> All right, loves. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for so much for donating. Those of you who are able to do that, we'll make sure all of that money goes straight to the musicians who perform tonight. So thank you so, so, so much from the bottom of our hearts. Mm -hmm. We love you. Love you. Good we night. love you. Thanks for participating. Yes, thank you. Good night. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.